C'est l'histoire d'une femme qui a été tuée alors qu'elle rentrait chez elle. Elle fait écho aux peurs que peuvent ressentir toutes les femmes et a ouvert un débat inédit au Royaume-Uni. Le 3 mars, à Londres, Sarah Evra rentre à la maison après avoir dîné avec un ami. Mais elle disparaît et son corps sans vie est retrouvé quelques jours plus tard. Le 12 mars, un policier, Wayne Cousins, est inculpé pour le kidnapping et le meurtre de la jeune femme. Le fait que l'homme qui a été arrêté est un serving metropolitain police officer est both shocking et deeply disturbing. Je reconnais le significant concern que cela va causer. Le 13 mars, une manifestation pacifique, organisée en sa mémoire, est violemment réprimée par la police. Les circonstances de la disparition de Sarah ont amené de nombreuses femmes à dénoncer un sentiment d'insécurité quotidien. We're not safe and it's not like it's not her fault and we're consistently told like take self defense classes, learn how to do this. Um This morning, one of the MPs was saying how she changes her shoes so she can be in shoes that can, she can run in. Those type of things and like that we're supposed to protect ourselves and we don't really finish that sentence. Who are we protecting ourselves from? She did everything that you're told to do. It's like it's walking down. It's a real, it's a quite a main road, that road. So it's not not like she was walking down a little back alley anywhere. It's a it's a busy road. It's well lit. She was on the phone to, like, on the phone to her boyfriend, like wearing bright clothes. It was, it was like half past nine at night. It's not even late. À la suite de sa disparition, la police a conseillé aux femmes de faire attention et de rester chez elles. She was just trying to get home, and then to have the, the, the original guidance be like, not go out after dark, and like, this is not okay. We're adults and we deserve to be treated with the respect. We like we should be able to go home. We should be able to jog when we want. We should be able to live our lives fully and not in fear. L'histoire de Sarah a ému jusqu'au plus haut sommet de l'État. My heartache and that of others can be summed up in just five words. She was just walking home. And while the specific circumstances of Sarah's disappearance are thankfully uncommon, what has happened has reminded women everywhere of the steps that we take each day without a second thought to keep ourselves safe. L'affaire a également entraîné la réaction de nombreux hommes qui ont manifesté leur soutien sur les réseaux sociaux. The one thing that I have seen that has been really good is the amount of men who've come out and said I never even considered this. Like I should learn about it, I think. And I always think a lot of people don't realize not to walk behind somebody or not to Not that they're doing it on purpose, but I think people just genuinely don't realize that someone else is, could be quite scared by that. 